Blocksburg has had over 100 updates since its release, but that means there has most likely been some updates that never made it to the game. So today, I am going to talk about cancelled Blocksburg updates. Before we start, I want to mention that everything I show in this video is publicly displayed on Coeptus' profile, and these are theories. Also, if you could help me get to 110,000 by subscribing, I would really appreciate it. If you go 108 pages into Coeptus' inventory, you will find 8 cards. If you look closely, these cards are actually credit cards. On the same page, there is also a Blocksburg Central Bank logo. My guess is that we were originally going to have a bank where we could store our money, and that bank would have probably went in this open field beside the nightclub. Another hint at this possibly being true is a decal saying, start saving today. There's also a poor and rich noob, as well as a Bank of Robloxia bill. You could say that this was just stuff for the AT at the hair salon, but I think that's unlikely because the ATM decals were uploaded 17 pages later. That could be anywhere from a few days to a few months apart. A bank would have been really cool because you could put your money into it and it would grow over time. I doubt loans would have been added though because that sounds a bit overpowered. Today, there is no bank, and the only thing that was used is a non-functional credit card in your inventory, which means it was most likely cancelled. There are a total of 10 skills in Blacksburg, but what if I told you there was originally going to be 14? This decal is named Skill Icons, and if I stretch the image, you can see 14 icons. This appears to be a football, which means they were probably planning some kind of sports skill. It would make sense having a sports skill because there are basketball hoops and soccer goals. The dumbbell, which is what we know is the athletic skill, could have just been weightlifting, but instead, they decided to merge both of these skills into one. There's a light bulb skill, which could have made maybe been intelligence, but we already have that. There's also a color palette, but that doesn't make sense either because we have a painting skill. And the final skill is a burger and drink. My only guess is that this was some kind of eating skill. It's not the cooking skill because that one is right beside it. To be honest, I'm kind of glad they canceled this one because it makes no sense. If you have an idea on what these extra skills could have been, leave it down in the comments. Right beside the 14 skill icons, there is a decal with stars. If we're being realistic, it was definitely just a way to show progression for your skills. But what if it was for rating people's plots? You would click on their mailbox and there would be an option to rate their plot from 1 to 3 stars. The rating could be shown to the public or just to the plot owner. It would be similar to Theme Park Tycoon's thumbs up button, but instead you could choose a rating. People would definitely review Bomb though, so I'm not sure how well it would work. But it is an update I would like to see one day. In this decal named Icons Bar, there is a compass icon. This compass was probably going to be a button that you could use for teleporting to jobs or locations around the map. In another decal, I found this map button. It would have also been a way to teleport to jobs and locations, but this could have brought up a bird's eye view of the Blocksburg map and there would be locations you could click. I think the map idea would have been a lot more interactive than the navigation button, but neither of these were added anyways. What we have right now is simple and self-explanatory, but I do think having pictures of the locations could help out new players. In the same picture as the map icon, there is a vehicle icon. This could mean that it was originally planned for you to spawn vehicles from your inventory, or it could have also been a way for you to teleport to your vehicle. I can't be 100% sure what the exact purpose of it was because it never made it to the game. Being able to spawn vehicles anywhere has never really made much sense in Roblox games, so I'm glad Coeptus went with spawning them on your plot because it seems a lot more realistic. These appear to be some icons for the customization tab of dressers. They were never used because right now we have these better looking buttons. A cool thing I noticed is Coeptus used the word trousers, which is not a word Americans commonly use. So for those of you who thought he was American, he's not. I'm pretty sure he's from Sweden. The Blocksburg UI was definitely not made in one attempt, which means there are some versions of the UI that were not used. Here we have black, blue, and gray versions of very old icons. The small paintbrush and hammer have the word cursor at the end of the titles, which means we were originally going to have this pop up when we tried to place items or paint them. As of today, we just have a cursor for placing and painting items, which looks so much better. This decal shows Telemon cleaning, and the only cleaning place in Blocksburg is Green Clean. So that means it was probably planned for Green Clean to be called Telemon cleaning. For those of you who don't know, Telemon is Shedletsky's account. And Shedletsky worked at Roblox as a creative director from 2006 to 2014. Maybe Shedletsky and Coeptus are friends, and that's why he wanted to make him a janitor. 
And finally, the very first variation of black box looked like this. It was gray and blue and it was a coin. What we have now is a thousand times better, but it's still cool to look back at what was originally planned for black box. And that was a few canceled Blocksburg updates. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, I'm trying to reach 110,000 and we are pretty close. Also, comment which updates you wish were never canceled. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stick around for the next video.